Hey everyone, this is Gerald Cigar Street. Now tonight I'm going to explore one of A.J. Fernandez's more mellow smokes, and this is the Manowar Virtue. Now this is an absolutely gorgeous looking stick. It consists of a light, creamy brown wrapper that's accented by this eye-popping silver on top of silver band. I mean, when you look at the cigar, it's just a beautiful, elegant looking cigar. And this particular Vitola is a Toro. It's a 5x50. I believe it goes somewhere in between $6.36, $6.5 per stick, depending on the quantity that you buy. Definitely a budget stick and a definitely a good looking cigar. Can't wait to smoke it. So let's cut it up, light it up, see how good it really is. Hey, real quick, if you're new to this channel and you're into cigar reviews and cigar related artwork, consider clicking that subscribe button. Now let's get on with the Man of War Virtue Cigar Review. Okay, I'm a good half inch into this cigar, and I wanted to give an update when I first started, but I was having a hard time placing the flavors, and the flavors that I thought I was picking up, I wanted to be sure of, so I wanted to kind of continue on until this stage where I felt comfortable about describing what I've experienced so far. So in that retro hell, what I picked up is definitely a black pepper. You can't deny it. I mean, it's the strong black pepper notes. They're... They don't stick around forever, but they do kind of linger on for a little bit. But there's definitely a noticeable black pepper in that retro hell. Now, in the draws, where this cigar gets interesting, when I first drew on the cigar, uh, what I tasted mainly was like a bitter tobacco. But shortly after that, I started tasting these grassy notes and this nutty flavor. And it's actually a really good flavor combination, one that I've never had before. And it's definitely interesting taste in this stick. So, Really looking forward to see how this cigar progresses. I'll keep working on it, come back with an update here at the end of the first third. Okay, I have to say the Man of War Virtues definitely impressed me. It's a much better cigar than I was expecting. The flavors at times are pretty bold. It's got like this rich woodsy flavor. There's these dark notes in there as well. And there's also these sweet notes that you pick up as you're drawing on the cigar. Now the Retro Hell early on I was picking up a lot of black pepper so much so that it was starting to make my throat go numb. Those black pepper notes at least at this stage have completely disappeared. So right now I'm just mainly tasting like these bold dark woodsy notes. Smooth smoke. I mean it's definitely been an enjoyable stick. And like I said I'm really surprised how good this cigar tastes. Really no complaints at this stage. I've definitely enjoyed it. Looking forward to see what it has to offer here in the next two sections. So I'll come back here with another update here at the end of the second third. Okay, this cigar's definitely changed for me. Those bitter notes that I detected early on have returned and they're more prevalent now in the second third of the stick. However, they're not so prevalent or not so strong that they take me out of the smoke. But I definitely um, noticed them more now than I did earlier on in the smoke. There's also the spice, and what's odd about that spice is it has like a perfumey aftertaste. It's kind of off-putting. I didn't really enjoy that section, but fortunately those bitter notes and those spicy notes have died off. So now what I'm left with is more of those bold woodsy notes that I was tasting towards the end of the first third. Now in the retro, it's mainly just kind of a those same woodsy notes. I'm no longer detecting the pepper like I did early on, so it's mainly just kind of those bold you know, darker woodsy notes that I'm tasting in this stick. Now, construction-wise, the smoke output's been excellent. The burn's still great. It's holding on. I haven't had to touch it up at all, and it seems to get better and better as I'm smoking the cigar. So, definitely impressed with the construction of the stick, and I'm glad to say that as I approach the final third of the stick that it's, it's also improving. So, I'm hoping that the final sections continue uh, on this path, so I'll keep working on it, and I'll come back with my final update here once I reach the end of the final third. Okay, I'm at the end of this journey, and the final third for me was a little bit of a mixture of the second third and the first third. So those spicy notes returned, however, this time around, they didn't have that perfumey kind of off-putting aftertaste. It's just mainly like a spicy in those dark woodsy notes. But other than that, that's pretty much what I picked up in this section of the stick. I'd say overall, probably the first section was my favorite. Second third was definitely my least favorite. But as a whole, the cigar was pretty good. I was really impressed with it. I'm one that really doesn't care much for Connecticut cigars, and I have to say this was definitely overall an enjoyable stick. It's one I'd smoke again, and it's one I definitely recommend, especially for those of you that do like Connecticut cigars. So if you've had this cigar before, let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys on the next review.